Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm going to talk about why the strawberry jello chicken is such an effective catfish bait. Well guys, if you watched any of my videos recently, uh, I have been trying out something that has been around for a while. It's no new creation or anything that I thought of, but it's something I decided to give a shot and try uh, earlier this year. It started out as somewhat of a joke, uh, taking my son fishing and one of his buddies. And I said, let's try this stuff and see how it works. We'll put it alongside some other baits and see how it performs, see if it will even, even catch a fish. Well, not only did it catch a fish, it caught a lot of fish and it caught more fish than the cut bait that I was using on this trip. And after that, I will admit I was reluctant to use it on a regular basis, especially on my guided fishing trips. I felt that somehow I was ripping my clients off by not using the traditional and sought after cut baits that we normally use. One of the things that changed my mind was a guide trip that I went on. And on this guy trip, I had fresh bait. I had good bait. It was live bait, nothing frozen. These fish were being used cut and they were as fresh as you could get. But we didn't catch a lot of fish on this trip and really no fish of any size. I got back home that night, was editing a video I'd shot the day before the guy trip and I caught a lot of fish. And I was looking and going, man, what happened in 24 hours? Well, the difference was that the day before the guy trip, I was out fishing with the chicken. I was only using the chicken. I was filming a video for the channel and I killed the fish. I caught a lot. Well, I called the guy back that had been on the guy trip and I said, hey dude, come tomorrow, jump on the boat, no charge, and we're gonna use chicken and film a video. I put that together in a video for you guys to see. You can check it out. We end up catching some fish. We end up putting two or three personal bests in the boat and it convinced me that this bait will work. Now, over the course of many trips, the chicken has outperformed the cut bait. In some cases, it was close, maybe eight fish on the chicken, seven on the cut bait. But overall, it's been around 80% of the fish caught have come on the chicken when fished side by side with the fresh cut bait. Now, why is this happening? Is this something that is gonna last, keep going on? I don't think so, and we're going to talk about some of the reasons that I think this stuff is working now, but it may not work all year long. Right now, on the lakes and reservoirs that I fish, we are seeing a lot of catfish that are feeding on mussels and snails. Now, how do I know this? Well, I've been throwing some fish into the live well on my boat just to see if they expel anything while they're there in captivity. What got me thinking about this was on a lot of these fishing trips, I would pull these fish into the boat, get a picture, get some video of them, and mussel shells or snails uh, would pop out of them uh, into the boat. This gave me a clue that something was going on uh, with these fish feeding on these water animals. So I have a feeling that the chicken, for whatever reason, syncs up with what they're desiring and what they're looking for when they're out there feeding on mussels and snails. Now, will this bait continue to work all year long, summer, winter, spring, fall? Well, I don't know. That is one thing I can honestly say I've not fished with it long enough to find out. My general belief is, is that the attraction of catfish to this bait coincides with them feeding on mussels and snails. Why they feed on these things uh, very specifically during certain times of the year, uh, especially post-spawn, uh, so it seems, I don't know either. Are there nutrients in there that they desire and crave? Are they easier to come by? Is there something going on with those creatures during that time period that make them easier to find and easier to catch? I don't know. Uh, but it just seems like there is a direct correlation between them feeding on these aquatic creatures and feeding on the chicken uh, very actively. Now, if there's anybody out there uh, that knows the science behind this, any biologist or chemist that uh, could do the breakdown between the chicken and the mussels and those type things, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know the actual science on this because I think there is something um, something to it. I think there is something scientific that's making it happen. But 
I can say this, right now it's working and it is producing fish. The other thing could be the oils in the chicken. Uh, there are a lot of natural oils in the chicken uh, that spread through the water and lay a pretty good scent trail. Uh, this could be one of the things that is making it work, more so than the actual jello flavoring itself. Other people have also added garlic, Kool-Aid, uh, all kinds of concoctions that all you folks out there have sent me uh, to try on the chicken and it's working for you and you're catching fish. So a part of me believes that it may be more the chicken than it is some of the flavorings and the scents that we're adding to it. Now one of the big questions is what is going to happen in the winter time? Generally speaking as temperatures start to drop going into November, December, uh, we start to see fish feeding on bigger and bigger baits. It's almost as if they are feeding up, fattening up for the cold. Uh, again, this is just our little theory on what they're doing, but the bigger baits do start to work during this time period. My plan is to see uh, how these baits compare side by side and if there is a steep and rapid fall off and how much they're hitting the chicken. Uh, right now, I don't know. I haven't used it through winter, but I've heard from a lot of you guys. And a lot of you folks are saying that you use it year round and you catch fish on it year round. So it will be interesting to see how this shakes out as colder temperatures set in. Now, am I going to be putting away my gizzard shad, my skipjack, uh, my bluegill, my perch? No. Uh, I think this is a good uh, bait to go with. It's a good bait to fish with. It is a readily available bait. But as an angler, I think uh, you need to be on your toes and pay attention to what is working. I think uh, using these baits, nothing wrong with it. No shame in the game. I don't have a problem with it anymore, especially when it's producing fish and producing big fish. But like I said, I think there's going to be a time, uh, time in the year when this is going to start to shift and uh, you're going to start to see fish attracted to some other things out there mainly more some of the bigger fish that they're used to feeding on and where they're getting some of their nutrients for some of the colder weather maybe building up pre-spawn those type of circumstances let's face it fish get big big fish get big by eating live fish they don't eat chicken in the water uh, they don't get big by eating mussels uh, and while it's a part of their diet and i'm sure it contributes and i'm sure there's concentrations of nutrients in those little bitty things i don't believe there's as many of them out there and enough of them out there to make a fish grow to 70 80 90 100 pounds I think it's fish, big fish, big shad, bass, crappie, bluegill that produce these bigger fish. And I think those bigger fish are going to be feeding on that. So is it a big fish bait for me? Not yet. Uh, I've caught some big fish on it. Uh, but there's a part of me, a purest part of me that still thinks the bigger fish, uh, if you're truly trophy hunting, are going to come on live, large bait fish. I may be wrong i hope i'm proved wrong and uh but we'll see we'll see how it works uh we'll see how these baits perform and uh we'll see if they keep producing good fish and good numbers of fish now what's my advice to you guys who are wanting to use chicken well i would not have a problem with using it or hesitate to use it at all listen if you're going out and wanting to go fishing tomorrow morning last minute you don't have time to go catch bait you don't know how to throw a cast net you got a limited area where you're going there's nothing better, nothing easier, nothing simpler that will produce fish in a consistent manner than going to your local grocery store, getting you a pack of chicken, using it, just cutting it up into little chunks. You can add some jello, you can add some Kool-Aid, you can add some garlic, but it's a very simple way to get you out on the water and get you fishing and get you catching fish. That is the most important thing. Uh, sure maybe some of the bigger larger cut baits may produce fish especially as we go into winter time uh, but it will be curious to see if the chicken continues to produce fish because I got a feeling that catfish will feed they're opportunistic feeders and if they have a chance to feed on mussels or feed on chicken or feed on schooling fish they're gonna do it so uh, I would not hesitate to use it, guys, if you're looking for something to get out there and get on the water and catch some fish. Is it a cure-all? Absolutely not. No bait is a cure-all. That I can tell you. Having some options is always a good thing. But 
this is the only thing you got to go with. I feel better telling somebody to use that if this is their only option than telling them to use hot dogs or chicken liver or stink bait. I think this has a legitimate chance of catching numbers of fish, some good fish, and maybe even some great fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.